The commission to create a statue of Freddy went to Irina Sedletska, a Czech sculptor who specialises in British public figures, from actors like Sir Laurence Olivier and Paul Schofield to sporting heroes like Bobby Charlton and Jackie Stewart. When we met her, she was still working on the now iconic statue and waiting to hear whether or not it would get a public unveiling, and if so, where. I was born in Pilsen, yes, and uh, I studied in Academy of Fine Art at Professor Pokorny since my 17s. I was working all my life as a sculptor. I don't know anything else. I can hardly speak, so you can see. <laughs> so, and uh, in 66, uh, we, with my family, I escaped here to England because uh, somehow in uh, Prague was suddenly coming for me artistically to that end, I thought. There is uh, no way I can serve more as a propagandist. You had to kill the conversation. I knew from the newspapers that this, uh, there will be a statue of Freddie Mercury, but uh, I didn't dream that I could be involved. I was lucky to be chosen. First time when I noticed him, I'm not so young to be really in, uh, in this kind of music, but, but when was the Life 8, uh, so I was uh, listening, it was an so exciting day, and when he came on the stage, so I just thought that it's one of the best, because he looked not only as a man, but I like his songs, I like the performance, and uh, when, I, when I got this chance, so I was in heaven. I have to think how people see him, how people know him the most. So it has to be just uh, the most striking uh, appearance and that uh, his role is the stage. He's such a performer, really, That's probably great. greatest. It's a composition also, it's not just only portrait. You really live with it, you sometimes draw draw the profiles, you try to memorize it, you, you look at the photographs from all possible sides, then you go back to video and watch, uh, watch the performance and uh, simply to get him in, under my skin, <laughs> or how to say yes, that I can close eyes and draw him. I know him by heart. Psychologically, it must have expression. Yes, and uh, you don't get it in uh, three days, <laughs> of course. And uh, so you try and try until you find out that probably this is the right time to stop. Powerful probably he was. Loving, uh, perhaps also. Obviously he was a very good person, I have feeling. But uh, to do his portrait, I really wish to concentrate him on the stage. Yes, and... Uh, that's uh, how I said so strong that uh, I can't look to all sides of the person. This is the where he was. Uh, he he was himself. That that this is what uh, made him Freddie Mercury. I'm not mad, but uh, sometimes I I talk to myself like, oh, this is not right, and you know, and what shall I do with it, <laughs> etc sit down and looking at the thinking and then I say, you idiot, how could you not see it? <laughs> so on. <laughs> the um. interesting part, mainly the main shape, the profile which, is, uh, which must be uh, catch in his striking, you know, the, this is the, uh, how would I say, it's a composition, it's the lines. And of course, uh, to get uh, this powerful forehead, with, uh, with this eyes, uh, like uh, very, like of the photographs, really striking, near hypnotizing, <laughs> yes. The final shape of the statue really depends on the place. It must be built for the certain place. Well, originally there were saying it will be in the Imperial College of Music, and I thought I was there, and I look at the uh, at the place, and I saw that would be wonderful, but somehow it didn't happen. So now, I don't know, it must be somewhere in Kensington, because that was his favorite <laughs> part of London, and he really lived there and liked it there. I thought Holland Park, but I'm not the person who will decide it. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. It's very good news for you. 
It's very good news for you. Yes. Mr. Jim Beach says hi. And they have now finally yesterday found a place <gasps> for a big statue. That's really good yeah, yeah, news. Yeah. Did he tell you where? Yeah, he sends his best regards. Yes, but did he tell you where? No, nope, he will talk to you soon, but that means... Oh, that that's lovely. Yeah. Oh, he must talk to me before Sunday. <laughs> I will not sleep no, I mean, in Prague. It was just because he hmm. knew that we're just doing the interview now. Yes. So he called me to say that we should talk a little bit about the 